This video, I will be talking about why I think Deutasteride is better than Finasteride. Now, don't get me wrong, Finasteride is still a good first step and definitely is good for most people. However, when you look at scalp DHT suppression on 1 mg or even 5 mg Finasteride, it pales in comparison when going up against 0.5 mg of Deutasteride up to 2.5 mg of Deutasteride. And between this range, you can see about a 50 to 82% reduction in scalp DHT. Now, we care about scalp DHT more so than serum DHT because in the scalp, that's where you have your hair follicles. And it is in this particular region where when testosterone comes in contact with 5-alpha reductase, whether it's type 1 or type 2, more commonly type 2, but we'll talk about why type 1 is also a concern. When this 5-alpha reduction occurs of testosterone, you get DHT. And in that localized area, the hair follicles are obviously being attacked and miniaturized by dihydrotestosterone, DHT. So this video is mostly going to focus on why dutasteride is just simply better. And as a, you know, sort of brief for people who are in a hurry. Dutasteride blocks both type 1 and type 2 5-alpha reductase. Also, there is reason to believe that in some people, they may have a higher presence of the type 1 5-alpha reductase in the scalp. So for those people, using something like finasteride, it doesn't block that much of the type 1 5-alpha reductase. In fact, it's primarily a type 2 5-alpha reductase inhibitor. So that may not be as efficacious for some people, but also dutasteride is shown to block more of that type 2 5 alpha reductase as well. So just from those two particular points alone, dutasteride is vastly more superior than finasteride when it comes to slowing down the progression of androgenetic alopecia. In fact, even when it comes to recovery rate of hair follicles, 2.5 milligrams of dutasteride has been observed to have a slightly quicker hair growth rate.